Good morning all for this international conference on business, economics, law, language and psychology organized by Social Science and Humanities Research Association. Today it is my privilege to be the keynote speaker for this conference. Today I am planning to discuss with you about digital marketing to engage digital generation. Just by clicking one switch, we can get all the information at our hands. Today, everything is digitalized. This we need to understand and uh, we are experiencing all these things in today's world. I just asked myself, why are people going online? Maybe they may have some questions. Immediately we go to Google and ask, what's our doubt? To search for new products, services, to know more information about an individual or an organization, or to get some help, or to have more uh, business contacts, or maybe for searching jobs. These are all the various possible reasons people are just going online to get information. And digital marketing is any form of marketing products or services that involves electronic devices. I'm going to today give some statistical details about how people are started using electronic devices in everyday life. This digital marketing for business is one of the most important aspect where it is going to become a must for every business to stay relevant and competitive in the digital marketplace. If the company says, no, I am new to uh, digital and I cannot accept digitalization, it's very difficult for any organization to survive in today's scenario. Earlier, we had traditional marketing to use uh, newspapers, uh, radios, uh, televisions, one-to-one uh, -one personal contacts, posters, so many things. But today, we are into digital world. So we have many ways of digitalizing the product and convey the message to the customer through digital platforms. That's why I just take today the generation is digital generation. People are okay, using digitalization for contacting any others. Even inside a home, if you want to interact with people, now what happened, <clears throat> people have started using WhatsApp or other uh, communication to interact inside the organization or inside the home. That's why today we are seeing only digital generations. So for this generation, it is most important the company should go for digital marketing. Just I want to give some facts that uh, traditional marketing is based on assumptions, but today the digital marketing is purely based on data. Since 1990-2000, there is a big lift of okay, using technology for marketing. Earlier, usually we have okay, one to one communication, go in person, sit, explain the product and try to convince the customer. Today, it has all is been gone. So everything they are going on online marketing or we say it's called internet marketing or we say web marketing, another word is digital marketing, all are same. So what is the core objective of this digital marketing? The first and foremost objective is to reach the right audience. In traditional marketing, people may not know whether they are able to reach the right audience. For example, if there is an advertisement in the TV, show or television show, we may not know whether it's going to reach the right audience, but in digital marketing, we can ensure that the information reaches the right audience and there is a big return on investment and we can motivate the people, we can engage them to buy the product through digital marketing. Why we need digital marketing? Just to prevent you from wasting the resources. There is no need for any duplication of work. Number one, 
Number two, understand the exact customer need. The basic thing is marketing means understanding the customer needs and wants. Through this digital media, it's easy to understand the customer needs and also to satisfy them through the right product or services. And using the resources and do a lot of analytics with the data, as I told you, it's purely on data. It can be used for analysis and understand the customer expectations and react to them accordingly. And there are plenty of platforms or there to reach the customers, which we are going to see now. As I told you, I want to give you some statistics uh, from a uh, They are doing a uh, a regular uh, survey about what is happening across the globe or and also in every country about digital things. Here is the report, Digital 2021, very latest report, just released, just for your information. So, Digital Around the World, the report is in Jan 2021, it says 7.83 billion people, total populations out of this. Okay, 5.22 billions are mobile phone users. And out of this, we have 4.66 billions are internet users. Just imagine 4.66 billions. 59.5 percentage of populations are okay into internet users. And out of that also 4.2 billion users are social media active users. So it is very easy to reach these people. And it's very interesting to see that uh, the average time spent by an individual in uh, media is 6 hours 54 minutes. This is a okay, global average. It varies from country to country. In some country, it may be more than 7 or 8 hours. Some country, it may be less. The average is 6 hours 54 minutes. An individual spending time in media, digital media. So there is a lot of scope for the company to utilize this and convey the product through various medias. And this I have taken this uh, particular uh, graph which shows, okay, Philippines, so they have, as I told you, it's 10 hours average and it goes very less in Japan. It is on just 1 hour 25 minutes. So maybe we can see where we belongs in our country. Even we can also find a specific report to our country also. So from Philippines, then Brazil, Colombia, South Africa, it goes like this. So what is the reason? We want to understand what is the reason for using this internet. Mostly it is for uh, finding some information or maybe to connect with friends and families. But here the most important what we want to understand that searching for some products and brands. Around 44 percentage of the time spending on internet is to find out the various brands and products. That's where the company need to play with digital marketing. So it means this is also one of the reason where people try to know, understand about the company's products. This is a, a share of global internet users by region. Region wise it has been given. Maybe we can understand okay, everywhere it is uh, growing a lot. Let us see uh, in social media. If you see, we have, as I already told, it's 4.2 billion out of this. Okay, mostly people are uh, trying to use this for connecting with friends, uh, chatting, all those things. At the same time, there are more scope for the companies to gain the attraction of the customers through social media. And there are okay plenty of people today, they started using e-commerce as a platform to buy the products. It's growing day by day. It's going day by day. I'm seeing in many countries, all the status says that day by day, the e-commerce activity is getting increased. So it means people visiting to the shop and buy is becoming reduced and people start buying through online. So now the company need to change the strategy to enhance their digital marketing strategies. 
So as I told you today, the online space is flooded with data about customers. We can easily get data about customers, their interests, preferences, because many customers, they share their interests, preferences in their social medias. It's all data for the company to collect. So digital marketing campaign helps to refine the data and use the same data to make cost effective promotions. And as I informed earlier, 4.57 billion, which is 59% of the population in the planet, which use okay, www worldwide web space where they want to get more information about the product and services offered by the companies. Let us uh, just give a small uh, okay, insight of the different types of uh, digital marketing. Uh, tips. We have search engine optimization, search engine marketing, social media, affiliate marketing, pay-per-click, email marketing and mobile marketing. These are the very popular seven types where the company have to focus on it. Mostly we know when you go for a search in Google engine, search engine, the first 10, whatever it may be, either Google or Bing, whatever it may be, the first page, the 10 top searches, how it comes. Again, it is something, a marketing activity. The company try to provide, okay, spend money on making them to come in the top list. So whenever the customer search something, immediately their product comes in the first, so it attracts. Otherwise, the company make the customer easy that pay per click. Just okay, when you have a click, just by pay, you can pay through various medias. We have PayPal, so many things are available, which we can very easily utilize this. Social media is another one of the important uh, type of digital marketing where it can be easily reach the customers. Affiliate, okay, you belong, okay, attach yourself to the company and recommend the product of the company. You get benefit. As a customer, not only I'm going to get the product, I also get revenue from the company. It's affiliate marketing, then email. Every day when I open an email, minimum 10 to 20, I'm selling it's the average, sometimes it may be more, of emails flooded about the products. And every weekend, we used to get the message from various okay, platform about what is the product available. So, how companies are uh, okay, using this for the platform? Budget. Just, okay, to give an uh, indication that from 2018, now we are in 2021 beginning, you see how much uh, billion dollars has been sent worldwide. They, ex they are expecting that it is growing. So today it is around 389 billion dollars. Maybe in 2024, it may reaches 526 billion dollars. So from 2018 to just 24, the projection has been given here. So this worldwide spending on digital advertisements. And just you see is going on internet display, internet paid research. That's why I say, okay, uh, search engine optimization. You just pay for it, your product will come in first 10 list. So here, this is where the spending increases slowly in newspaper, magazines, these are all going Okay, in the negative sites, people are not interested to advertise their product in these uh, newspapers, magazines is coming down and going to digital platform. Which of the industries, uh, they are uh, utilizing this digital platform. Obviously, retail is the first, which uses more digital platform, then automobile, then comes the financial services, insurance companies, banks, etc., then telecommunication, Slowly, okay, every industry is coming inside. Maybe as of now, health is the least one. Very soon, okay, this will also increase. 
So you see, there's a simple comparison shows if you want to reach okay 1000 audience in traditional marketing it needs around 900 dollars minimum 900 dollars to reach 1000 uh, audience or 2000 audience so now today the same 2000 audience by just 50 dollars through search or maybe 75 dollars with the help of social networking they can reach just see the difference where is thousand dollars now where is 75 dollars the cost effectiveness that's why i told there's a big return on investment is there so let us uh, try to understand the benefits of digital marketing it's very simple time flexible the real time analysis we can get instant feedback immediately the customer can reply to you what is the expectation whether you they are happy or not everything can be easily given very economical that's more important as i told okay instead of spending thousand dollars i can just spend 75 dollars to reach the same audience to this audience and also it will create a big impact that's another important thing we need to understand so the future of digital marketing not only this they are going to use artificial intelligence voice search digital personal assistants like alexa google assistant chatbots internet of things blockchain so these are all the new technology is growing which is can be used by the companies for digitalize for conveying their message to the customers and most of them already in practice i'm saying for few of the companies it may be future few of the top companies they started using these technologies artificial intelligence uh, internet of things uh, personal assistant like alexa and google uh, assistant a blockchain chatbot for their uh, business purposes So, I want to just uh, try to conclude by saying that the reach is the key to digital marketing success. So, every company need to understand that uh, here afterwards, if they want to reach the customers, it is only through digital platforms. It has plenty of benefits. It has various ways and it's easy to understand the right customers and attract them so it's become very common and nowadays we cannot say that people doesn't know how to use mobiles they are not illiterates they are becoming more literate of using the digital platforms and everybody is spending too much of time in digital platforms so it is the right time where company can make use of this digital platforms, digital technologies to reach the right audience. I'm try again insisting that reaching the right audience is very important in marketing. So through digital platform, digital technologies, they can reach the right audience and that will be the success for every company. Thank you very much for your patience lessons. So I'm very happy to be a part of uh, this conference by delivering the keynote speak. Wish you all the best. See you.